Enough solar energy hits the earth every two hours to power all of humanity for a year. So why aren't we totally renewable? You see solar panels on roofs, so what's the problem? The main problem with existing photovoltaics is that they, which is what you see on those roofs, is that they have a storage problem. You can make, you can make electricity when it's sunny, but you can't make it at night or when it's cloudy. So we need some way to take the sun's energy and store it. And to meet that goal, we have the water splitting process, which you see here at the bottom. Somehow we need to convert the sun's energy um, into splitting this water molecule into hydrogen gas and oxygen gas. We can use that hydrogen gas then as a fuel, the way you would use gasoline in cars. Um, and that really has a storage effect. You can keep the hydrogen gas in a tank overnight um, and use it any time. So how do we mediate this difference or this, uh, this distance between the sun and the water molecule? We use something called a semiconductor. So it's not really a conductor the way you would have a copper wire in, in electronic, and it's not really an insulator the way you would have just a piece of wood. You know, you can't get a static shock when you touch a piece of wood. Uh, it's somewhere in the middle. It only conducts when it's excited by the sun. So the sun shines on the semiconductor, an electron jumps to a higher energy state, so it gets excited, it's more energized. This creates an electric current that zaps the water molecule and splits it into two gases. You then take the hydrogen gas and use it as fuel. So what kind of material can we use as a semiconductor? We use rust. It's really common, it's cheap, it's non-toxic, it's great. But you can't just use any rust. You need the exact right proportions of iron to oxygen atoms in the rust, specifically two iron atoms to every three oxygen atoms. Also, bulk rust won't do the job. You can't just use a plate of rust. You need these tiny particles to facilitate uh, the reaction because for a higher surface area to volume ratio, the reaction will proceed more readily. So we need these tiny particles. For example, think of a beach ball. It has a, a low surface area to volume ratio whereas a marble has a high surface area to volume ratio because the volume is so small. So we need to make nanoparticles and we need to make them in uh, the right ratio of iron to oxygen. Those are the two goals of my thesis. To do so, I made them colloidally, which means in solution. Of course, that black ink-like solution looks nothing like the rust you're used to. Um, but when you dissolve it in this, uh, this ink-like solution, you get these tiny, perfectly spaced particles. Uh, which you can then lay down on a plate and use it as an electrode or a, a solar panel, just like the ones on your roof, except in this case, it facilitates the water splitting reaction and you can use it very well as storage. Um, just in conclusion, I think it's really neat that you can use the three most abundant resources, not the three most abundant, but three very abundant resources on Earth, rust, sun, and water, to solve the world's energy crisis. Thanks.